everyone welcome back to art so this week we are going to be creating a project inspired by the dot it's international dot day on september 15th and when i was going through this book i was really inspired by the paintings that vashti created because you can just look at all the variety that she created on the walls however to start we need to learn about the colors so today we're going to be learning about the primary colors Primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. Now you might not have known this, but the primary colors make up every color on the rainbow. So what you're gonna do, get these three crayons and open your sketchbook to the next clean page. And you can turn your sketchbook however you would like it to. I like working like this, especially for this project. So first things first, what I would like for you to do is grab your red pencil, uh, red crayon, and I want you to put a circle on the page. For this project, it's a little bit easier if you use the end of your pen, uh, crayon, it's not a pencil, it's a crayon, because you can color it in pretty easily like this. It's flat, so it works with the page a little bit better. And I'm coloring by going in a swirl it fills the page just a tad better. So color that in to the best of your ability and then you're gonna pick up your yellow crayon and same thing you're gonna put a yellow circle anywhere on the page. This is your art piece you are the artist so you get to decide where everything goes. And then last, you're gonna get your last primary color. And you are going to put a blue circle on the page, just like that. Now I mentioned at the beginning of this video that these three colors make up the whole color wheel and I'm gonna show you how that works. So, the next color after red on the rainbow is orange. So grab your yellow crayon and put a yellow circle on the page, just like this. Now don't press too hard. I'm actually going kind of lightly to get this color in here. And I'm gonna show you why. So after you lightly color a yellow circle, grab your red crayon and lightly Press the red crayon into the yellow. You'll start to notice it's looking a little bit like orange, huh? Well, that's because red and orange together, red and yellow together makes orange. So I'm thinking mine is looking a little red. So I'm actually gonna go back over with more yellow. And you can really mix the two together. But if you start off working lightly, this process is a lot easier. You wanna work light, then move towards going to dark. Got some orange on the page. So next, we are going to create green. So you're gonna pick that yellow crayon back up again and pick somewhere on the page that you'd like to put your green dot. So I'm going to put mine right here. Once again, lightly color in your yellow circle. And then the other color of yellow that creates green is blue. And I'm gonna mix a little bit more yellow in there. I'm gonna keep mixing until I'm happy with how my green looks. Because I care about my art piece and I want it to look good. All right, and the last color we need to create on the rainbow slash color wheel is 
violet. So I'm gonna start with my red crayon. Red is a tad lighter than blue, so it's gonna be easier to mix with. Put your red dot on the page. Grab your blue crayon and start mixing. Now you might be asking, Miss P, why on earth are we creating green, orange, and violet if we have those crayons? And the reason is, I want you to experience the magic of creating your own colors. But you never know, you might be in a position one day where you really need to color something orange, but you don't have an orange crayon. So aren't you glad you're learning how to do that without using an orange crayon? It's the little things in life that'll help you out so much. So I have all of my colors on my page, but I want to add more. I have a lot of white space floating around. So this is the time where you can have some fun and be creative. And I think I'm going to be putting a couple of more colors. I might double up. That completes your page. So I have all sorts of colors all over my page and it looks lovely. I cannot wait to see what you create and I hope you have a really fun time doing this. Thank you.